we're in Mexico, searching for what some might consider a tourist. A migratory species more familiar to the US or Canada, but it's here that the monarch butterfly spends its winter. Most monarch butterflies have a short life, living a few weeks at best. The monarchs in this forest were born in Canada or the northeastern states. And like their parents and grandparents, they spend the first few weeks of their lives feeding and sticking close to home. Then, one day in autumn, no one knows exactly what triggers or guides them. They take off on an incredible journey, flying more than 3,000 kilometers to a completely different world. This is an astounding experience. I have butterflies all around me. And hear the gentle flapping of their wings continuously. Monarch butterflies may be the ultimate creatures of habit. Every winter they flock by the millions to the same forests in Mexico. Using an internal GPS that still baffles scientists, it will fly up to 8,000 kilometers across strange territory to a home it has never seen. Every year, a new generation of monarchs flies to this specific region of Mexico. It's a tiny part of the world, about 60 square miles. So tiny, the locals managed to hide it from outsiders until 1975. Now there are 11 designated sanctuaries within this area, protecting millions and millions of butterflies. There's thousands of them crowding every one of these trees. The branches of these fir trees are actually bending under the weight of the butterflies. They are all over the ground, throughout the air. It's as if we were in a cloud of butterflies. The energy expended by a monarch to reach this sanctuary is phenomenal. Remember, this is a creature that weighs less than a paper clip and it flies about 80 kilometers a day to get here. Pound for pound, it's the equivalent of a human walking around the world 11 times. We're about 3,000 meters above sea level. Temperature's constant here. It's perfect for the butterflies to overwinter. It chills down at night, allowing them to save on their metabolic energy. And then during the daytime, it warms up like this, especially at this time of the year and they go off and find nectar and moisture. They cling to the pines for five months, huddling together for warmth. In another month, they'll start migrating north. When temperatures rise, they ride the warm spring breezes to Texas and stop to mate, and the cycle starts once again. It will take three generations of monarchs, living one month each, to make their way north again that a tiny caterpillar morphs into a beautiful butterfly is a miracle in itself. But the mystery of the fourth generation migrating to Mexico boggles the mind. There's nothing like it in the natural world. An experience of a lifetime.